Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about J internal frames. So if you don't know what a J internal frame is, this is essentially, well, I guess, what it is. So I have a button up here that says add window. And so yeah, it's a frame within a frame within a frame. Um, so it's kind of cool. They all have their own different properties and, you know, so it's basically acts as a regular frame, which is, you know, what this whole thing is, but it's inside the frame, which is super cool. Um, so here I'm, I try to simplify it as much as possible so that it could be easily understood by anybody. So let me just lay this down here. So basically I just have a basic GUI setup, right? So this is for the generic frame. So I have, you know, up here I have your generic J frame, you know, it's, you know, generic uh, close operation. But below this I have a J desktop pane. This is the thing that we're working with. And I call it desktop because honestly, that's I guess what it is. Um, and so I have this button that says add window and that's uh, what you just saw right here. It says add window. And so when I click this button, what it's going to be doing is creating a J internal frame, which is what this thing that I highlighted here. Um, and so you can see that it kind of acts the same as a regular J frame. You know, you can, you know, title it. And so I called it a internal window. And so you see over here, all these different booleans, right? So this first boolean is uh, whether or not you want it to be resizable. The second is if you want it to be closable. The third, if you want it to maximizable. And then four, whether or not you want it to be iconifiable, I guess. Um, basically what that is is just minimizing it. So this is just uh, the ability to maximize it and the ability to minimize it. So if I were to, for example, you know, showing you uh, what it looks like now, you see it has all of these different options because they're all set to true. But, for example, if I change it so that I can't close it, which will be the second boolean, I just set that to false, uh, rerun it, and now if I add a window, it's not going to be there. I'm not going to be able to close it. Of course, I did add a handy dandy close button there, um, but yeah, so this just modifies some of the basic properties that you could do externally, but this is just easier. So. Um, so basically, down here, this is kind of something I don't think I've talked about. It's the dot dispose. So what this just throws away the frame. This disposes of this internal frame. If I were to do like you know the usual new window dot, like the the system, you know the generic system exit, it would just close the entire program rather than just the J frame. So the J angel, J, the dot suppose actually just removes it entirely, which is easy if you just want to remove specific uh, components. Um, <clears throat> so down here, I set the size. So similar to a J frame, you have the basic, you know, similar properties, um, except there's a few things that are missing because it's a special element. Uh, so you can see that you can set the size, minimum size. Um, you can set whether it's visibility, and of course you have still you can still have all these attributes, but and put them down here. But for the sake of being convenient, you don't need to do that. Um, now, yeah, and so whenever you click the button, it's going to keep on adding that internal frame to the J Desktop pane constantly. Uh, but one thing that I did add is a uh, move to front. So basically what this is going to do is just move it to like, um, so I see like, oh yeah, like I have this and then I add window and it's gonna move it to front. If I didn't add that, which I'm gonna do that right now, I'm just gonna cross this, like note this off. If I didn't add that, then, and I do the same thing, it's gonna appear behind it because the focus is on this frame. Now what this does is this just, you know, moves the what the uh, frame to front. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. It works pretty well. Now, I'm just going to finish this off. So down here, this is after the button because I just closed it off here. What I did was I just added the panel so that, you know, you have the button. That's the top button. So top is this panel up here, and I added that. And this whole center piece right here is actually the desktop. Um, and I just set the generic, you know, GUI properties such as the set location relative to, so it'll just, you know, open it up in the center, you know, set visible, you know, all those, you know, regular properties. Yeah, so that's kind of basically it. I try to simplify it as much as possible so that, you know, you can dive right in. There's so many things you can do with it. There's so many cool things you can do with this. So it's really worth checking out. Like you can you can do so many cool things, so many cool little projects with this. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, the source code, their source code will be added in the description of the video. Um, if you learn something, leave a like. Possibly even add it to favorites. Um, if you have any further questions about internal frames or you want to suggest future videos or anything then put them in the comments and i will try to answer them or acknowledge them um in the near future and yeah that's, that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time